It has been a ridiculously busy day today. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's been a rough one. I feel like I've been hit by a bus. I am exhausted. It's been a long week. One of my coworkers has been a little bit condescending. I feel like I need to do like complete detox this weekend of any electronics. Let me start over from the beginning. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I hope you're doing super well right now. Today I decided to take you through a few work days in my life. I'm starting on voiceover because my morning routines are very quiet, very chill. I just, I don't like to talk for like the first 30 minutes of waking up. As you can see, I'm starting my morning skincare with some micellar water on a cotton round to get some of the excess product off my face from the night before, then just a standard gel moisturizer and SPF and brushing my teeth. And then this morning, Hunter and I actually made a full breakfast, which was really, really nice. We just kind of enjoyed the morning together. And for makeup, I went really, really light. I used a little green cream over top of any blemishes because I've been breaking out for some reason. And then just some mascara. And my outfit too was just very, very simple and cozy because I knew I wasn't going to be really around anyone today. I was just going to be kind of holed up in my office doing a lot of work because I have a lot of big deadlines coming up. So, made myself some coffee, my lunch, and my bag is all packed already, and heading out the door. So once I am parked in my parking ramp, I head up to my office and I just kind of set everything down on the desk to start. So I set down my keys, I set down my coffee, and then I set down my bag and hang up my coat and start unloading everything in my bag. So my lunch, my little planner, my laptop, and I do have an extra little notebook as well that I sometimes take notes in. So I log in for the day and then I look at my planner just to kind of get myself in the right headspace to know exactly what I need to do for the day. It's a Monday, so I have a lot of work to do. I have a lot of big deadlines coming up. Since it's a Monday, I have some weekly internal letters to send out. And then for my little part-time side gig as a web development assistant, I do have a reminder email to send out to members of that separate organization organization as well today. Those are the smaller things, but then a work in progress that has been taking up a lot of my time the past few weeks has been an annual letter that we send out externally and we're looking to send it out tomorrow. So I need to get that finalized. So yes, I've got my coffee to help me along the way. I'm going to send out those little emails through MailChimp and then I'm going to go ahead and start working on that big newsletter. I first wanted to knock out the little bit I had to do for my part-time web development assistant role. So I'm pretty much just looking everything over. I had already put it all together over the weekend. In reviewing my work, I noticed that there was a broken link or what appeared to be a broken link. So I decided to try to send myself a test email just to make sure that link was working and it was actually working just fine. So I just sent all of those out and then moved on to my full-time job responsibility, which is sending out the weekly newsletter internally. So just kind of working through that, making little graphics on Canva. I really love Canva for last minute graphic things because it's just so easy to throw stuff together and make it look super nice and professional. Again, I worked through these and kind of finalized them on Friday and over the weekend. So they were pretty ready to send out. So I sent all those out, added a new event to our Facebook, and then moved on to that big annual external newsletter. I've spent a lot of time planning this, gathering the material for it, executing it, and now I'm just trying to find finalize it by the deadline. I'm using InDesign for this and it's something I'm very familiar with, something I really like using for this type of stuff. So really what I'm focusing on at this point is all of the visual appeal of the letter. Since I already have all of the info and material, I already know that that's going to be valuable to the reader and audience. Now I'm just focusing on making sure that the formatting is visually appealing. Now, after lots of intense focus and concentration, I decided to take a little break and eat my lunch and just like take my eyes off the computer screen because after you stare at a computer screen for that long it just gets to be too much so I just kind of took a little break ate my pizza this was my lunch today I know it's not the healthiest thing the most aesthetic thing but that was just what we had okay so pizza it is cold pizza at that getting back to work with that newsletter. My focus was definitely at its peak today. I think I left my desk like a total of maybe twice. 
to use the bathroom. Um, but I ended up getting to a spot where I felt comfortable exporting it and then sending it to the leaders of my organization to check over and approve. Mm -hmm. Literally before I knew it, it was almost four o'clock. Time flew by seriously so fast. So I started to pack up when I felt like I was at a comfortable stopping point, just kind of loading up my work bag, putting my jacket on because it is a little bit cold out yet and heading down to my parking garage. It has been a ridiculously busy day today. I honestly didn't expect to do as well today as I actually did, but the grind doesn't stop here, folks, because we are at the gym now. I'm going to go and get a nice light workout in. I have been tracking my feminine cycle lately and the different phases that my body will go through. So I've been really trying to tend to what my body truly needs depending on the phase that it is in. And based on all the research I've seen right now is the best time for me to take it easier on my body. So I'm probably just going to be doing like a little walking on the treadmill, nothing too serious, who knows. But yeah, I'm gonna go get this workout in and then I'm probably gonna head home, make some dinner, and then I think I might actually do some more work after hours, I know. Put in some overtime, even though it's not actually going to count as overtime, but I feel like it will just help my peace of mind tomorrow to have things more prepared than they are right now. Hi girls, guess what I'm getting ready for. I don't think you're gonna guess it. Um, so I'll just tell you, I'm getting ready to go to the tire store because I have a nail in my front right tire. I just discovered it this morning. Let me start over from the beginning. The most recent Friday, this past Friday, I got a tire pressure notification that my PSI was low and all of them were looking at pretty normal except for my front right tire and that one was at 24. PSI, which is really, really low. So obviously like seeing my tire that low, especially compared to the rest, I was like, hmm. But I went and filled them all back up to 35 that same day. So I had no issues obviously for the rest of Friday night. I had no issues Saturday, but then I went to see my parents and then on my way home, as soon as I started the car, back down to 24. At this point, I was like, that's a little weird. So I filled them up on my way home back up to 35 and everything was good until Monday. So yesterday, like right after the gym, my PSI had dropped back down to 24 only in that front right tire. I asked my parents and my mom was like, you should go check your tire because there's probably a nail in it. I go down there to check this morning and smack dab right in the middle of my tire is a big fat nail. Anyways, I've made an appointment to go get that thing patched. And it sounds like they're going to do it for free, so we love that. Anyways, I'm going to finish getting ready and I'll see you at the tire place. As you can see, my front right tire pressure was extremely low. So I filled it back up to 35 one more time and the tire place was excellent. They fixed my tire super quick and easy. So afterwards we just got some food court food and settled in for the night. morning. It is Wednesday today and I'm starting my work day at a little cafe near my work and then I have to actually go into my work to do some photography work. So I'm going to do like half of the day here and then half of the day at work I'm thinking. I haven't went and worked in a cafe for a long time probably since before COVID and I have like very light like I don't want to call it social anxiety because it's not that serious but it's like just me feeling like I would rather just go through a drive through you know, and get on with my day instead of having to interact and like find a spot and stuff. It's really like the smallest deal ever. It really is a first world problem if I've ever heard one, but I'm gonna do it. Hopefully it's not super busy. The parking lot's pretty full. So like, I don't wanna have to scour the place for a spot, but we'll just see what happens and yeah. <laughs> So I actually wasn't expecting to enjoy myself as much as I did. This was a really good experience. I got a gingerbread chai latte and it was so good. And the ambiance was just really nice. I ended up sitting underneath a staircase, which was kind of cool in this little nook, like a little hidden corner. Everything was just really good. I really enjoyed the vibe and yeah, I'll definitely be back. Goodness 
gracious. Hello, it is Thursday today. It's been a rough one. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's been a rough one. Yesterday felt like a Thursday to me, so today felt like it should have been a Friday and it wasn't, so that was disappointing from the get-go. But like today was just one of those days. You ever have those days where you're like, okay, I don't think I have that much to do today. I feel like I've gotten a lot of my big stuff done and I probably just have a few smaller things on my to-do list. I just got things flooding in through email today. I don't know what the deal was, but there were like a bunch of new big projects given to me today. And I just didn't see them coming, you know, like I just wasn't expecting to have all of that just loaded on me today, which is okay. Cause that's my job is to just kind of take what I'm given and make something happen. And I'm totally okay with that. And I love my job, but today was just like the last day I expected to have a bunch of new projects, I guess. I think it was just kind of me mentally hoping and being very optimistic that today was going to be a more chill day, but I was working on quite a few things today, so. And you can kind of tell, cause like my eyes are literally, you probably can't tell, but I was looking at my eyes on Snapchat and they're actually bloodshot right now. I think from just staring at a computer screen so frequently lately and like my eyes just like, I have to keep blinking cause they kind of hurt and I just, and then on top of that, I had one of my coworkers, I'm gonna be very, very vague about this. Basically one of my coworkers has been a little bit condescending to me and some of the other people I've been working with on a certain project and it's all been via email. So it's like, I could just be reading the situation wrong, but like a little bit of sass going on. And the person that I've been mostly working on this project with, we were talking about it today and she agrees that it's a little, a little passive aggressive because basically what's happening is this person pretty much asked us to do this big thing last minute and it was their fault that it was such a last minute request. And so we didn't get to it right away. We didn't start working on it immediately. And that person then was getting impatient with us when they were coming to us last minute they were the ones being a little bit inconvenient and just like i that's all i'm gonna share i just i didn't enjoy it at all and i was honestly just more surprised than anything but yeah there was that there was this graphic i was trying to make like a banner for the website and i tried making it in one size and that size just could not work like i kept resizing it i kept messing around with it it took me like two hours just to make this one graphic that normally takes me like 30 minutes maybe at most and it just would not fit the correct size that I wanted it to fit and finally I just figured out what the heck I was doing I don't know I think I'm just burnt out honestly like my sleep schedule has been weird I've been not wanting to get out of bed at all whatsoever each morning lately I'm not sure what the deal is I think Hunter and I have been going to bed a little bit later than usual so maybe that's kind of psyching me out messing with me a little bit but it's been not so easy waking up in the morning and doing the commute and I don't know I just feel really really tired right now but the good thing is that tomorrow is Friday so number one it's a remote day for me and number two Hunter and I go to Starbucks every Friday as a tradition if you're subscribed you know what I'm talking about so I'm just really relieved that I get to be home tomorrow in my natural element a little bit I get to sleep in a little bit later on Fridays and remote days in general because I don't have to make the commute and I don't have to get ready and look all presentable I can just work in my PJs and no one's gonna stop me but yes I'm so so glad for that I keep forgetting how close my birthday is my birthday is literally this upcoming Tuesday it's Thursday today so then the next Tuesday coming up my birthday like that's insane to me I keep forgetting my nails are all grown out I definitely need to redo them and I'm just like running low on time I think my birthday is going to be pretty simple this year like last year when I turned 21 it was a big deal so I did all the things you know like I made it huge I made it a big deal but this year I think I'm just gonna like do dinner out just hang out with the people I want to hang out with and that's really it it'll be fun I feel like it's just been another year but in this year I keep forgetting like how much has happened it's been a monumental year in my life like a year to remember I got my job I got my car I moved into my first like real adult apartment that wasn't a college apartment like I fully transformed into adult mode I feel like over the past year not fully but I feel like I have, like, if this is the progress bar, I've, it's moved a little bit this year. Anyways, I'm at the gym right now. Hunter beat me here by like 20 minutes. So he's probably going to be done way before me. So I better get in there and start doing some cardio. I think I might do a little bit upper body depending on how far along he is. I don't, I'm just not doing well today. Like, I'm not going to lie. I am exhausted. It's been a long week. So I'm going to head in, get this workout in, and I'll see you later. <laughs> Honestly, thank goodness it's Friday. I feel like I've been hit by a bus. Like, honestly, I'm almost to the point where I feel like I need to do the complete 
detox this weekend of any electronics or any screens of any sort because I've been doing so much design work this week and when I do design work like that I tend to just like stare at the screen and not blink for long periods of time because I'm so focused and I'm so focused on getting things to look the way I want them to so I'm like constantly messing with the formatting and stuff but my eyes don't look quite as red today I do look a little rough though I do look a little rough but I don't have a lot to do today, thank goodness. Since it's Friday, I am going to start prepping and kind of finalizing the newsletters that I send out on Monday that you saw me send out earlier this week, just so they're ready to go. Um, and then other than that, I just have a few smaller things I need to do, so. I also created a brand new web page yesterday, so I'm going to work on integrating that into our full website. So like on the homepage, maybe creating like a whole kind of news post for it, just little things like that. And then also spreading it onto our other channels. And then I think I have to make a flyer for something as well, but that's all that's coming to mind right now. I'm sure there's a little bit more, but so I'm gonna get started on all of that. But before I do, I'm going to say goodbye, close out this video because it is the end of our work week pretty much. I mean, after today ends, but so. Thank you so much for being here and for watching and for hanging out with me and joining me throughout my work week. I hope it was fun for you to watch. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got some insight on what the field of multimedia communications and outreach looks like. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I want to see you back here and I'll see you soon.